Hello my fellow creative spirits. Okay, so today is going to be a little bit different of a tutorial. It's not directly going to be about painting, but this one will be about how to be a more productive artist. I've compiled a list of different tips that I found to be useful to help me stay on top of my game and constantly have new work. While I discuss these tips, I'll also be showing you guys a time lapse of a small painting that I've just recently finished. So my first tip is to have a morning routine. Every morning when I wake up, the first thing that I do, of course, after basic hygiene, is to make a nice, healthy breakfast. So you want it to be healthy, but you also want it to keep you full for several hours so you don't have to worry about eating until a little bit later. So I like to make a big batch of tea so that all throughout the day, I could be sipping on it. So after I've had my healthy breakfast, then I go into looking at my daily schedule, what is my to-do list, and then I allot the first 20 minutes to checking emails, checking social media, writing back to people that I need to write back to. After I've checked my emails, then I do a quick little cleanup of my studio because it helps me to clear my mind and get me ready for the day. Once I have finished tidying up, then I go right into preparing all my materials and go into painting. Make sure that you stick to this routine and it takes about 21 to 30 days to form a habit. It'll be easier to ease into painting every single day because it's almost automatic and you don't even think about it. You just go right into painting. My second tip is to create lists. I write a little checklist just so that I remember exactly what I need to do every single day. You want to use organization tools. Organization tools are there to help you and to help you become more productive. And it's also rewarding because you will get to see every piece get checked off as the day goes by. In the beginning, what I would do is I actually would log in how much hours I painted for the day as well. And that helped me to become more accountable and more aware of how long I was painting every single day. And also, what I use my planner for is I make deadlines. So in advance, I'll know how long I have to create a painting and it will help me to stay motivated. Now, tip number three is to make sacrifices. I know this is going to be hard for some of you, it is definitely hard for me, but you're going to have to make sacrifices if you want to become a professional artist. This is not the case, I would say, if you want to be more of a hobby artist, but if you want to be professional, there are sacrifices that you're going to make. So what kind of sacrifices? There might be sacrifices in your social life, there might be sacrifices in your uh, TV consumption or video game consumption. For example, I used to spend hours watching TV and now I watch a maximum of one hour of TV at night after I've finished everything. Now for tip number four, you're going to want to avoid social media at all costs at any other hours besides the first 20 minutes of the day or another 20 minutes that you could allot later in your day to check and respond to emails later on in the day. So why social media, like television, is a big time sucker. It just takes your time and it just makes it disappear. I don't know what happens. Every single time I go on Facebook, I'll be there for hours and I still struggle with it. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of painting and I'll find myself just automatically logging onto Facebook. Tip number five is to build up your stamina. So you're not just going to go in and be able to paint for eight hours straight without any breaks on your first go. If you're just starting out, you might have to only allot a couple of hours or maybe even just one hour a day. And then as you become more accustomed to being able to sit there and focus, you'll find that you can focus for longer and longer and longer. It's like a marathon runner. You can't just go and run a marathon um, without having any type of previous training. You have to train yourself into it and then you'll find that you'll be able to sit down and really focus for more hours at a time as time goes by. Tip number six is to know and be aware that you are not always going to be motivated, but work anyway. So I found that actually the days that I feel the least motivated that I really do not want to paint are the days that it is the most rewarding to me because it. I like to compare it to working out. When you're working out, there will be days that you just do not want to go and work out. 
The hardest part is getting started, but once you've started, it will be a lot easier. Tip number seven is to make an Instagram account or any other social media account where you can share your work. Now, what does this do? This builds accountability. When you have several followers that you kind of feel depend on you, even if they don't really, but they kind of are looking forward to you seeing your new work, you're going to feel more accountable and you're going to say, hey, I need to get this much done today so I can share this at the end of the day. Tip number nine is to eat healthier and to exercise. Now, I struggle with this still to this day, especially the exercise part, but I have noticed that when I do yoga at least for 20 minutes at the end of my day, that I have more of a clearer mind, even if it's just a quick run around the block or to do some yoga, sitting at your easel for eight hours a day could take a big toll on anybody. And tip number 10, when you put your goals down, you want to make sure they are intrinsic and not extrinsic. So reflect on yourself. What are you making art for? Is it for fame and fortune or is it for your own personal growth? Before, I used to set goals as far as how many followers that I wanted to have and it was not rewarding. I felt very tired and burnt out because I felt I had unrealistic goals when it came to this. But then when I started shifting my focus from how many to the quality of my audience, I saw a big difference where I felt more connected with my audience. Alright, so those were my tips for how to become a more productive artist. If you guys have any tips of your own, please feel free to share them in the comments. I've, I'd love to hear them. I know that these tips work for me, but everyone else has their own different workflow that works for them. And I'd love to hear how you guys stay on track and how you guys stay motivated. If you aren't following me on social media, please feel free to follow me on there as I'm always posting my new work. And I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time.